hey guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl Shanika Marie and we are back with another video if you are new here I am a faith-based creator here on YouTube and I'm all about just encouraging you on your walk with God encouraging you for my personal journey right so if you're new here welcome um so I felt led to record this video I was driving home and I was like Lord you know I feel like I, I need to record a video but what do you what do the people need to hear and he told me I need you to encourage my people when it comes to hearing my voice um, a lot of them are questioning a lot of them are just feeling like they can't hear my voice a lot of them just feel like they, they want to give up with trying to hear my voice so I need you to encourage I said okay Lord I parked my car and I hit record right so if that is you please stay to the end because I want to cover you in prayer as well um, so just a few tips about hearing the voice of God First, let me encourage you and let you know you can hear the voice of God. We're going to rebuke all of Satan's thoughts that's trying to get in your head to, to try to tell you that you cannot hear the voice of God because everyone can. Sometimes it is crowded. It's crowded out by the noise of the world. It's crowded out by the noise of people. It's crowded out because of the noise that Satan sends right into our minds and having us question all of these things. So I just want to... uh. Just come against that right now and let you know you are able to hear the voice of God. Now, sometimes the voice of God can sound like our own thinking. It can sound like something, you know, that we're trying to convince ourselves to do, if that makes sense. But let me tell you, God speaks through his word. Yes, he can speak through other people, but we have to use discernment when it comes to that. He speaks through his word. He can speak through other people. But most importantly, he wants to speak to you directly. And you may say, Shanika, well, how do I, you know, how do I do that? Let me encourage you to incorporate more stillness in your life. And when I say stillness, get the distractions out the way. Get your phone out the way. Get, you know, just find a spot that you want to purposely meet with God daily, right? You can play worship music. You can sit in silence. Like, you know, whatever you need to do to just kind of declutter your mind and declutter your heart first so you can really hear from God. And what I mean by decluttering your heart and mind is get a piece of paper and write down everything that's kind of on your mind and heart and say, Lord, I'm making space so that I can hear from you about whatever you want to hear from him. And I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. But we have to make space to hear from God, right? We have so much going on in here. We need to literally write down all of those thoughts, what we're worried about, what's on our to-do list. Right? Write down all of those things right first and get it out your head. And then the next step is sitting in silence. And also, but actually before that, kind of get it like not not even in your head I want you to write this down I want you to write down like what do you want to hear from God specifically about is it about your job is it about your family is it about you know something going on in the friendship is it about your life whatever it is kind of write that down at the top of your paper or just a you know a plain sheet and like Lord and I would encourage you to say a prayer over it like Lord I need to hear from you about this about this specific thing this is what's on my heart and mind right and I want you to sit still but I also do not want you to get discouraged if you don't hear anything immediately I want to confirm I want to affirm you and let you know that God hears everything he hears all our prayers whether he speaks immediately or not I want to encourage you and remind you that he will speak now sometimes it will not be immediate but just know that he heard you, right? And sometimes this pro in this process, we can get impatient with God because we want him to speak now. And he can, he he has, he, he's able to do that. But sometimes he doesn't want us to move yet. And something that I want to encourage you because I've been through this a lot where I've had moments where I can hear from God directly. Like he'll speak to me in that very moment. And then there are sometimes he's been quiet. And so I take that quietness as he's not ready to speak to me specifically about this yet because he's working behind the scenes on something that I have no idea about. So I use that as, a, okay, Lord, we're going to put a pin in that because I guess you're doing something that I don't need to know right now. So I'm going to trust you in that. And it's, it's all a part, this process, y'all, we have to trust God. When you really trust God, if he's silent or not, 
you know that he is working behind the scenes for you, okay? And I also want to give y'all example from something that I did today. Um, there was something that I kind of had on my heart and mind. I found myself getting a little bit anxious, but you know, my last video, our new declaration is anxiety is not our portion. Peace is right. So I got my, I did my notes app on my phone and I journaled, you know, just what was on my heart and mind. And I asked God to speak to me about it. Like, Lord, can you give me wisdom about it? Can you show me about, you know, show me what I need to do concerning this area because it is causing me to worry. And I didn't hear anything. But you know what God kind of brought to my mind? Um, he brought to my mind because I was seeking this, seeking him about this very thing this time last year. And I felt like I heard from him. But y'all, to be honest, I think it was the enemy trying to, to trying to confuse me a little bit. Because if I would have moved on what I thought God said, even though I know, all, you know, his plan works out for our good. I, I know that. But I think I would have moved too fast. Um, So... God brought that back to my memory. And I remember, I think for a while, I was a little bit afraid to seek God about this specific thing, this about this thing, because I was a little nervous because I, I got it, I almost got it wrong last time. So, but God was like, you need to surrender that to me. Surrender that, surrender that, that, um, that fear of I, I might get it wrong or um, I may, I might act too fast because God's grace, it covers y'all. It covers all of that. Because even if you do make a mistake, even if you do move too fast and you heard God incorrectly, oh, not, not, not hear God incorrectly. Let me take that back. Even if you move too fast and you didn't hear from God, maybe you trusted in, you know, your own wisdom, or maybe, you know, you fell into the enemy's trap. I'm not sure. But even in that, God's grace still covers us and brings us back where we need to be. So take a breather. We don't have to have it all together. We don't, we, we, if we get it right all the time, why would we need God, y'all? We wouldn't need him if we knew everything and got, you know, our life was perfect and all of these things. So, this gives us, you know, a reason to always be seeking God. And when I, and it's another thing I wanted to encourage you, if you feel like God is silent about something that you're asking him about, that means you need to continually seek him, seek him more about it. And I believe, because I've seen this happen in my own life, is he doesn't speak to me directly about it. I'll hear something in a sermon that will that I'll know will be confirmation to what we talked about or a friend will bring up something or something will happen to where I'm like okay God you are telling me to be still or you're telling me or you're confirming it may be time for me to move on something right so when I tell you God is always speaking he speaks through so many things and I also want to encourage you with just because God spoke like like that the last time doesn't mean that he's going to speak the same way because sometimes we're like oh god you spoke to me about this this way let me seek you in this way when god wants to do a, a total new thing because that's just who he is y'all that is who he is so for the one who where, where you are struggling i pray that these tips have helped you and just to kind of wrap up what i was saying you know god can speak through his word he can speak through people he can speak through a worship song y'all we we don't we, we can't limit God because he can literally speak he can speak through a license plate he can speak through numbers and I know this past year God has been speaking so much to me through certain numbers and even in that he's led me to led me to a mentor that has allowed me to understand what he's saying y'all even through numbers right he's speaking and I've just learned to not limit God to how he wants to speak to me right so let me just say this. Do not limit. Don't don't limit God. He is a limitless God, right? And he can speak and use any and everything. So be open. Be open to hearing from God. Make time for him. Try to um, incorporate more stillness in your life. Maybe well, if you can, I would suggest doing it in the morning before you do anything else. But if you can't, just um, try to find a time that works for you to be still. Even if it's just 10 minutes, y'all five minutes it all it, it matters it matters because god can do a whole lot in a little time okay and also 
if you feel like you know you're not hearing from God, that that's an indicator that you need to continue to seek Him. Seek Him more about it. Keep asking. The word says, keep seeking, keep asking, keep knocking. We have to keep at it. Cause sometimes, how many of us, and I've been there before too, where I asked God about something and I ain't hear nothing. I was like, Well, I guess, I guess that's it, <laughs> right? <laughs> I have been there. You are not alone. So if you're in that space, just go ahead and laugh because we've all been there, right? But y'all, I'm so glad I recorded this video and I just feel like the I just feel the Holy Spirit, you know, now just confirming everything that I'm saying. So y'all, let, let's say a prayer. Let's say a quick prayer before we end this video, okay? Father God, we just thank you for your goodness. We just thank you for your grace. God, I just pray for the one who is watching this, who is struggling to hear from you, God. Lord, I pray that you will give them a new experience with hearing your word today, Father God. I pray that this moment forward, that they will know what your voice is and also the voice of the enemy, that they will be able to rebuke it as soon as they hear it when they know that is the enemy, God. But they will also take heed and they will understand and they will write down and they will pay attention to the ways that you are speaking. God, help them to focus more on what you're speaking than anything else, God. I pray right now that your voice will be the loudest in their lives, Father God. Lord, I cannot wait to hear the testimonies that come out of this of people just continuing to seek you, Father God. Not going by their own reasoning or own understanding, but fully trusting in you, Father God. Fully trusting in your wisdom that only you can give, God. So, Lord, we just seal this prayer up. We just pray a head of protection over it, God. And Lord, we just thank you for new experiences with you starting now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, y'all. I pray that this video encouraged you. And if it did, share it with someone. Be sure to leave comments. I respond to all comments. So please leave a comment if anything in this video has encouraged you or maybe it was confirmation to you. Let me know. Let's talk about it, okay? So be sure to like this video, subscribe, do all the things, and I will talk to y'all in the next video.